If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. Um, so this video you guys is gonna be about is PA school right for you? So PA school is not right for everybody and that's okay. Uh, there are other healthcare routes to go. There are other professions out there and you just have to realize and be willing to realize and be willing to make that decision that hey this is not right for me how do you decide that right like how do you sit up here and you're like you know what um i don't think pa school is right for me a lot of things have to go into this whole decision making process so time time do you have the time if you have the time then great if you don't have the time currently at the moment then pa school might not be right for you because you have to put time in to pa school pa school is hard you're gonna have to dedicate a lot of time to studying and you're gonna have to dedicate a lot of time to the profession in and of itself prior to actually becoming a pa um, so you're gonna have to put a lot of work in with respect to all of the prerequisite the healthcare experience hours the patient care experience hours your shadowing you're studying for your GRE, the different things that will actually put you in a position to get into PA school. And then after that, you still have to now complete PA school. There are gonna be sacrifices that you have to make. And one of those sacrifices is the time that you have now. So is that something that you're willing to do? Um, if you are and, and you have the time to do so, then PA school might be right for you. In conjunction with time, you have to put in the money, right? Because PA school is not cheap. On average, you're spending anywhere from like $50,000. What did you say? A year or so to like upwards. Well, yeah, 50, about $50,000 a year for some schools. Um, we're making it around like 100,000 a year or, you know, like 30,000 making it like 60 or 25 making it 50, depending on the model that they have set up. If it's, is it a three-year program versus a two-year program? Is it a dual master's degree? All of that comes into play with respect to how much you're paying. So do you have the money to do that? Do you have uh, the money at hand or can you get a loan within a couple of months to supplement your life while you're in PA school? If you can, then great. PA school might be right for you. If you cannot, you might want to think of something else because they don't play with their money. So you definitely, it's a business, right? Like anything in this world, um, going to school is a business. So they have to get paid and therefore you have to be able to pay them. So that is something that you have to think about as well. When you're trying to figure out is PA school right for you. Now the material. So it is a lot of material. We say it a lot, everyone in like healthcare in general, but uh, I hear it a lot now that I'm in PA school. PA school and the information that you're getting is like drinking through a fire hydrant or a fire hose. How are you gonna actually obtain and retain all this information? Cause it's like you're drowning, right? With that being said, is that something that you can handle? Can you handle the material that is being thrown at you? If you can, then PA school is right for you. If you cannot, um, if you're not a person that can sit up here and read for hours and get that information down, like my husband, that's not him. Aunt is not, a, I'm gonna sit down and read for three hours. Like that's not his thing. He's gonna go crazy. <laughs> So he knows that PA school is not right for him. And that's why he's chosen the path that he's on. Um, and so we have to be honest with ourselves and do the same thing with the paths that we're on or the paths that we're thinking of. Also with respect to that fire hydrant, you know, analogy, the stress, cause school can be very stressful. Um, you're gonna have lots of tests and exams coming up, like, you know, final exams and cumulative exams and quizzes and practicals and different things that you're dealing with. With that being said, you have to learn how to manage your stress. And and if you're somebody that does not know how to manage their stress well or gets stressed very easily, then PA school might not be well for you, well suited for you. And that's not to say that it will always not be well suited for you. So all of these things I'm saying doesn't mean like, oh, okay, then don't go to PA school at, at all. But you really have to sit down and be honest with yourself and say, hey, is this a deal breaker? Is this something that I can actually overcome? Is this something that I'm willing to test, see if I can overcome or you know, let me just save my money, save my time, save my stress level and keep it moving. So 
Those are some things that you definitely need to think about. Also, with respect to PA school, um, sometimes it's very isolating. You know, uh, you're away from your family most of the time. You're away from friends. Yes, you may be making new friends, but that in and of itself is difficult on top of trying to study and make sure that you're passing all of your your, your classes. Understanding that, hey, you may not necessarily be able to spend time with your family and friends, and you may be isolated um, if, if that is not the type of person that you are and if that's not going to bolster well for your like you being a productive student then hey you know you might want to just kind of think about that and look into something else also with respect to PA school you definitely 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 have to be able to manage all of the things that you're gonna see so if you're very squeamish oh Yuck, 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 yuck. But like cyst? Oh God. I looked up at the wrong moment. So you're not really good with blood. You're not good with like, you know, like gross looking things like uh, abscesses or really bad scars, um, like tecubitus ulcers, things like that. Then you might want to look into something else. Maybe the healthcare field is not for you in general. Maybe you need like in terms of like working with patients, maybe you need to be behind the scenes in the healthcare field. And that's okay to find your niche, find where you fit in. But that's what this is all about because you're going to see that not just in PA school, like if you're going going to these different free clinics to do some work and help out there, which a lot of schools do. But also when you get on rotations, that's what you're going to be dealing with. You're going to be doing, you know, an IND. You're going to be first assisting on surgery. You're going to be doing things that probably are going to need to be okay with doing. You can't be squeamish and not do well with the sight of blood and make it through a surgery rotation. Like you're gonna faint every time. Vasovagal is gonna kick in and you're gonna be on the floor and that's not gonna be a good thing. Like you're not gonna pass that surgical rotation. So you definitely need to be aware of those things. Um, just look at yourself, take a deep, long personal look at who you are and say hey is this right for me is this something that i can deal with um ask ask anybody ask people that you know that are in pa school ask PA, um, pacs that you may know ask physicians and nurses and ask them about their different professions and see if those may fit better than a pa or a pa may fit better than those professions look and see what might make the best sense for you i guess you know like understand what's going to work best for you in your life and what's going to be most productive for you as a person and if that is PA school then more power to you yay I hope this was helpful to any of you that are kind of on the fence between PA school and med school and MP school and you know becoming a chef or you know, just kind of living the actor life or you know trying to do the MBA thing whatever it may be whatever you're on the fence about hopefully this kind of just gives you some insight on the things that you should probably be thinking about with respect to making decisions that are best for you in your life. If you have any further questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys. Bye.